up? What's up? What's up, you guys? What's up? How you doing today? It's your gardener. What's skinny for Randy? Hello. Hello, my waiver backers. How y'all doing today? It's your gardener with Skinny Boy Randy. Hope you're having a great, growing, blessed, and prosperous day. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If, click that like and subscribe button. 100 Big Red Square doesn't cost you anything. No application fee or anything. Thumbs up. Thumbs down. Just 92 middle bangles. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much for being here. I just want to make a short, quick video for you. But also, if I can't answer a question here, head over to the Facebook group. That group is called... Gardening with Skinny Boy Randy, where beginners and experts are welcome as well. If I can't answer a question here, they can answer it over there because somebody's going through what you're going through. And those are some question answering people. Mwah, I love you guys. Thank you so much, Facebook group and YouTube group. So, yes, today we're just, oh, don't forget to follow Instagram and Twitter and get your Skinny Boy Randy t-shirts, coffee mugs. People, thank you so much for all of you that have been supporting my merchandise thus far. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you, Lord, for the good folk following and buying the good product. I appreciate it. Thank y'all. Today we're going to talk about overwintering your peppers. There are several different ways you can do it. Everybody has their own opinion. But I'm just going to show you the Skinny Boy Randy way. And there are certain peppers that you know you want to save. So I'm just going to show you how I save mine. So this is a pepper that, uh, it's a bell pepper, but it produced, like, beautifully all summer long up until now and it's still producing as you can see this video y'all might not see me so I just want y'all to see the plant it ain't about me but yeah and see she's still producing but that frost came through last night y'all see the wilted leaves that's how you know it's time that's how you know it's time you gotta go ahead and throw in the towel so what we wanna do is save this plant because I wanna grow this plant again next year so what I'm going to do is preserve it over the winter. Now I'm using this container. This is just a five gallon bucket. Let me show y'all something. I want to show y'all something. Just in case you don't know how to save money. Don't fill them five gallon buckets all the way up with that soil. Ain't no roots going down that far. Look at this. I can pick this up with one finger. Look. Look. I ain't got the line crack. Look at that. One finger. You know why? Because. Let me see if you can see the reflection in the bucket. Well, if you can't see it, I can see it. But I can tell from here down, from here, halfway almost down the bucket is plastic that the soil came in. And you guys watch me fill my buckets out. It's full of plastic. And this one bucket grew peppers uh, greens and look look how tall this okra is mm -hmm. the okra is taller than me can y'all see it yeah and look I can lift it with one finger because I have all this in this one bucket pepper plant okra tree and look at the the giant red mustard greens that have just made their let me get you back down made their way right into the bucket giant red mustards in there along with the pepper plant so you can companion plant you can get a lot of different things in a small space you guys okay okay so let's just dive right into the video what we want to do is trim this down prune it down I'm gonna get you on the plant we want to prune it down because we don't want this plant to try and reflower and make leaves. We want it to store all the energy that it has over winter. You know, three months. We want it to store all that energy over winter. So what we do is we go in and we trim off all the excess. First, go ahead and pick your peppers off. You don't have to be pretty, y'all. We're about to chop it up. It's going to look drastic, but this is what you have to do. So get all the peppers off. Yeah, I think all of them are off. One more over here, Heidi. So get your peppers off. And what you want to do, let me get you close to the action. Okay. Can y'all see me? Okay. Now this is, in, like I said, in this five gallon bucket, the root system doesn't get that long on peppers y'all so save yourself some money 
and fill this. Uh, put your, uh, those bags of soil you buy. Fill it up halfway with that, and it drains anyway because you're crumbling up the plastic, and then you fill it in with the soil, and you can grow a whole bunch of stuff, even some carrots in here growing. All that in one bucket, y'all. Don't let nobody tell you what to do in your guy. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, just come in and start trimming off from the top. And what you're pretty much doing, you want to leave the mother stem, this stem all the way up, okay, into that V. You see that V, and it goes out like that. All this extra after you get to the V is just extra. So just cut off those little extra stems. You don't need them, and just leave your V, okay? Just like that. Like I said, it's going to look drastic, but next year, you'll be able to pull this out of your, if you have a garage or a shed with a window, you can leave it in there because it does need light. You can't just leave it in the garage. I'm going to go down here and trim all this off just like this. And just snip right there. And that's keeping the plant from trying to reproduce because a pepper plant will go dormant. Let's get all that extra off. All the extra things. Anywhere you see where a leaf was growing out, just want to get all that out. That's what you're doing. Okay. And I'm going to leave that much of the plant. That's all. You want it to be almost bare. Well, pretty much it's bare. Y'all, there's a... Look, y'all. I ain't got the lie, Craig. Look at all the stuff that was growing in this bucket. A pea. This a bean. Yep. Look. Beans. In this same five-gallon bucket. Okay, so we have peppers. We got giant red mustards. We got carrots. We got beans. And we got a whole okra tree. Y'all don't let nobody tell you what to do in your garden. So once you get it down like this, what you want to do is get some of your good old, if you have compost, fertilizer, cow manure, whatever you have, and, and, and pack it around it. Pack it around it. Just like that. Get you some leaves. Because we want to keep it super duper warm during the winter. So that's all you want to do. Give it a little current packing. And now at this point you can uh, uh, water it with some uh, fish emulsion 511 or whatever type of liquid fertilizer you have. You can water it in. Add any other type of nutrients that you like. It will work. But that's how you prune your pepper plant. And you do it the same way if you were doing it in the soil. Now, if you have mild winters, um, you know, you don't have to worry about doing it in a container. But if you have those really strong winters, sometimes like we do, you want to dig that plant up without disturbing the roots. Put it in another container or a five-gallon bucket, fill the soil up halfway, and do the exact same thing. Put it in a window somewhere. And if you can bring it in your home, you have an area, you can bring it in your home. Or if you have a space that you can just take it in and out every day, it's going to need sunlight. But it will go dormant. It will stay dormant. And you don't really have to do anything to it, you know. If you see that the soil is completely dry or something, you might want to give it a little water. But you don't want it to flower. You want it to stay dormant, sleep, keep all those nutrients in until next year. I hope this helps you out just a little bit. Thank you so much for being here. Remember, live, love, love, you guys. Grow stuff and eat it. You're the best. See you next time.